Former U.S. Senator John Melcher, who represented Montana in Congress for two terms in the 1970s and 1980s, has died. Melcher passed away at his home in Missoula at 93. Tonight, we look back at his storied political career. John Melcher was a World War II veteran and a veterinarian from Forsyth. He started his career in politics on the Forsyth City Council. He served as mayor, then state lawmaker, before becoming a congressman representing Montana's old Eastern District in 1969. Seven years later, Melcher won election to the U.S. Senate, to the seat held by Democrat Mike Mansfield, who was retiring. Melcher spent much of his career focusing on farm and food issues. He knew agriculture better than any U.S. Senator. He knew every, every detail, every nuance of it and he would fight for it all the time. But also had a reputation as a maverick. He was one of just three senators voting against a landmark 1986 tax reform bill and also was a Democrat who opposed abortion. One of Melcher's final efforts as a senator may have played a role in his undoing. The 1988 bill to set aside 1.4 million acres of wilderness in Montana and opening up another 4 million acres to logging and other potential development. Well, I think it's very likely that the uh, bill will pass as it is, as it passed the, the Senate. But President Ronald Reagan vetoed the bill just days before the 1988 election. And Melcher's opponent, Republican Conrad Burns, portrayed Melcher as ineffective. Days later, Burns defeated Melcher in an upset 52 to 48 percent, becoming the first Republican to win a U.S. Senate race in Montana in 42 years. Melcher did attempt a comeback six years later, but eventually lost in the Democratic Senate primary. In Billings, I'm Jay Cohn reporting for MTN News. News of Melcher's passing prompted words of praise across the state. Montana Governor Steve Bullock called Melcher a statesman whose legacy of decency and dedication to public service and to the people of Montana set a high bar for all those who followed in his footsteps.